Hi, in this video we're going to take a look at configuring Cisco Umbrella Windows Active Directory Connector. This is part two. So in part one, we learned how to configure and implement the Windows Active Directory Connector script. Now in this video, we're going to focus actually on the installation of the Windows Active Directory Connector. For part of this demonstration, we're going to focus on installing the connector on a domain controller. So as we do as always, we start off with main points, which I've gathered as part of my studies. So the main points I've got for this video is that the Windows Active Directory connector can be installed on a non-DC server if preferred. So in our demonstration today, we will be installing this on a domain controller. However, you don't have to if you don't want to. You can install it on a non-domain controller server as long as it's part of the domain. Additional requirements to be taken into consideration if installed on non-DC servers. So I will put the links to uh, relevant guides in the end of this slide and I will also post them in the video description however this main point is uh, basically pointing out that if you're installing the connector on a non-domain controller there is additional uh, prerequisites that you need to consider before proceeding and the last one is a separate file to install and this is not the same of the active as the active directory connector script so as we saw in part one we implemented the script and uh, performed some configurations on the server side the script is totally separate now what we're going to do is we're going to focus on the actual connector itself and downloading that the steps to install the windows active directory connector are pretty straightforward we just need to access the GUI and download the Windows Active Directory connector. Then we need to install the connector on the domain controller or non-domain controller server. For our demonstration, as I say, we will use the domain controller. And then last of all, we need to verify that the connector is operational within Cisco Umbrella. All these steps we will perform and we'll verify in the demonstration. So for those that have watched part one, we're using the same topology uh, for this demonstration. Our main focus is the installation of the Active Directory connector, so there won't be any need um, to use the client at this moment in time. However, I may do some videos in the future that shows um, how the client operates once the umbrella environment is set up and configured. So we have the same two virtual appliances and we have the Umbrella Active Directory connector. We've got the script currently uh, configured on the domain control at the minute, which is the server 2019. And now we're going to install the actual connector onto that server now. So what we'll do now is we'll flip over to the Umbrella lab environment. And to download the Windows Active Directory connector, for those that have watched part one, it's the same process, just different downloads. So we go to deployments, configuration, sites and active directory. And you can see there from the previous video that we did, we still have the um, domain controller registered with the Cisco umbrella however its status here if we click on the little information button we can see that it's never connected to the connector so what we're going to do now is we're going to actually install that connector now so to do that top right hand side download and we're going to select the second one this time so this is going to be the Windows Service Active Directory Connector 
download that. So it's downloaded, we will need to extract that. You can see that there, so we'll just extract that file now. And now we need to run the setup file that you can see there. So we'll just run that setup file now. And we just simply follow the steps through. So in the in part one, we saw that we configured uh, the Active Directory domain controller with a username. I did say that you could change the username in the script if you wanted to. However, for our demonstration, we kept the same username, uh, the default username, which is OpenDNS underscore connector. Now what I'll do is I'll enter the password that we gave for that user. And as you can see, the little informational text at the bottom there says that the password will be verified with the domain controller. So it's unable to validate the credentials. So I need to check that the um, password is correct. So what I'll do is I'll just go back there and I'll just verify that the password is correct. So I've just quickly verified the password, so I'll just enter that again. And as we can see there now, the uh, connector credentials have been successfully validated. So we'll just continue with the installation process. And that's the installation complete for the connector. So the contents of the installation can be seen here in the location that we specified, so C drive. We can see the contents within, within here. So let's go back to the umbrella dashboard and see if we can get an update. So we'll just refresh the screen. And now you can see that the Active Directory connector is here and installed two minutes ago. So after some time you should see the um, green status which is OK next to your domain controller if using a dom domain controller and your Active Directory connector. Now this can take some time, it just depends um, on the synchronization um, and especially if you're using VAs so we can take a quick look at the VAs now we can see there that uh, the AD connector status is stalled um, based on the research that I've done this, sh this should be uh, this is normal so active or stalled as you can see there while we're just doing this video it's changed back to active so all green now, so that's fine. So that is how you install the Windows Active Directory connector for Cisco Umbrella. I have some useful links here. I will share them in the description of the video. But please, if you've liked this video, please subscribe. And if you're interested in more videos to come, then you can hit the notifications tab so that you're notified of any new videos that I publish via email. Until next time, thank you for watching.